Hi. So I don't just make videos of the video games I play. I also write books. This is the Rolling Sea Trader Book 1, Esperanza's Party, and the Rolling Cedar Rolling Sea Trader Book 2, The Island. Um, they're available on Amazon.com. In paperback and Kindle. I'm having a hard time talking, apparently. So, Esperanza's Party is... Sean and Ashley have been friends for a long time. They've always known they were going to spend the rest of their lives together. But when Sean doesn't ask her out and continues to date other girls, Ashley takes matters into her own hands. And she thinks Esperanza's party is a place to show him that he shouldn't date anyone but her. And then... Book two is Sean and Ashley... Uh, Sean and Jesse are super bored while headed toward Ireland for school. They're on the ship, the Rolling Sea number one. No, it might be the Rolling Sea number two, actually. I know, I came up with such great names. <laughs> um, they put on a knife show to impress Ashley and Chantel. But the show is stopped when the ship comes to an abrupt halt. The ship is stuck on a sandbar attached to an island, and they decide to explore. But you have to read both books to find out what happens. There are six books that I wrote that are published on Amazon right now. Please check them all out. Please buy my books. And have a great day. Game uses on max saving. Okay. I don't remember what I was good at, so we'll just go with it. Introducing our contestants. I've won 12 matches? Cool. Let's play Jeopardy. You can quote me on that. Your eye. Montana. 80s movie quotes. Who wrote it? Science nonfiction. Player two, it's your turn to choose a category. At her inquest, this woman who inspired a rhyme said, I knew there was an old axe down cellar that is all I knew. Three, which category would you like? Oh. Um. Incorrect. Darn. Indeed. 
was my other choice, but... character. Oh. E.T. Yes. Such a flounder. Don't be such a guppy. Ariel. Precisely. Oh, um, Ferris Biller. That's it. In this film, Clever Lang says, No, I don't hate Balboa, but I pity the fool. Um... Yeah, I was gonna say Rocky something. Couldn't think of Rocky three. though. Which category would you like? That's it. It's a daily double. How much do you want to wager? You are correct. Rockies? I'm sorry, no. Glaciers. Precisely. Oh, that was a guess. Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. As Dr. Peter Venkman, this actor was slimmed in Ghostbusters. Causing them to say it feels so funky. Oh, it's slimed. Oops. That was my answer. I just forgot to press the button. Player three, pick a category. Sorry, but that's incorrect. I'm gonna say that. Saskatchewan. Exactly. It was a guess. Player one, please select a category. 
This largest city is named for a president of the Northern Pacific Railroad. I don't know. That's correct. Player three, which category would you like? The wolf pointed point wild horse stampede is Montana's oldest of these events where cowboys trip their stuff. Rodeo? Sadly, that's not it. Precisely. Player one, please select a category. He's the appropriately named poet who wrote Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. I'm guessing Robert Frost. Sorry, but that's incorrect. This man penned a savage journey titled Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. No idea. That is not correct. Indeed. That was a guess. This comedian and star of my life on the D-list wrote the 2016 book Celebrity Women's. Yes, correct. Oh, okay. Player two, which category would you like? In her November 2016 concession speech, she said this is not the outcome we wanted. That's correct. Player three, please select a category. That's how they concluded in 1936. Melvin with the lane after all. Tomorrow is another day. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> You know when he advised, speak softly and carry a big stick. You'll go far. I don't remember. Sadly, that's not it. Um, sounds like something Ulysses would have said. That's not it. No, actually, it sounded like something Roosevelt would have said, and I didn't press the button. That's correct. I don't know, but I was thinking Ulysses, and he was, like, a general or something. So. Hawken. Player two, which category would you like? That's not even in English. That's right. Player three, pick a category. Tulaji is another name for this, the study of plants. Correct. Yeah, botany. Player two, which category would you like? I 
Dinosaurs died out in this geological era that means we were alive. Um, Sadly, that's not it. I'm guessing Tell that. It's not. Oh, okay. to choose a category. Let's watch this short video. The storm scene here is in the Western Pacific, so it goes by this name. That's not what we were going for. Okay. Tsunami. That's not correct. Typhoon. Mars. I didn't understand the question. Yes, correct. Last clue. Look at the following image. Those have complete outer shells, the gases in this electrochemical group Incorrect. are largely reactive and I'm not answering this one because I didn't catch what the answer exactly oh noble gases okay here are the scores for the double jeopardy round the categories are literary monsters crafts after Alaska. Game shows. Free game shows. Broadway musicals. Okay. See you in a minute. Guess. Player one, which category would you like? In a Jules Verne work, the novelist has to deal with a big one of these, referred to as a devil fish. Indeed. I haven't even read that book, and I know that. This offspring of a woman and a bull is one of the monsters in the Percy Jackson books. Um. No. no. Sorry. Uh, Minotaur. Daily 
Ooh. How much would you like to wager? Um. In the Barbara G. Nick story, monsters are tricked into eating these veggies when told they're giant trees. Well, let's try broccoli. Correct. Oh. Title monsters in this skin crawling R.L. Stein series include a mummy, scarecrow, and a snowman. Uh, goosebumps. Assembled from dead bodies. Ooh. The monster in this Mary Shelley book turns against his creator. I'm gonna guess Frankenstein. Exactly. Sure. Observe the following image. Ooh, 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 I know. Origami. That's it. Are the small colored pieces usually tiles? What are you used to make this type of picture? Mosaic? Yes. I got hung up on the first word because I couldn't pronounce it. Choose a category. Look at the following image. I don't know. You are correct. Oh, okay. Cross stitch. Player three, which category would you like? Observe the following image. The red pole in the, oh wait, the red in the pole. See here, takes on a new meaning in the Stephen Sondheim musical. Exactly. All right. I don't know. You are right. Observe the following image. After that same year comes crashing down at the end of Act One of this musical. Oh, um, I'm gonna guess. Yes. Okay. Select a category. Look at the following image. In the Music Man, this the big parade was led by. Oh, um, seventy six. That's correct. Seventy six strong bones led the big parade. Observe the following image. Type of transport seen here makes a noteworthy appearance in this musical revived on Broadway in 2017. Correct. Oh, see, I was going to guess Play Mash the Musical. Which category would you like? Before Spear means half. With clues like that. That's not what we were going for. Okay. So it's not semi. Hit me? Precisely. That was a guess. Player one. Pick a category. Before not in physics, it means star. No idea. That is not 
um, Astro. That's right. It's a daily double. Oh no. How much money are you wagering? If it lived up to the Millie part of its name, a millipede would have this many feet. Um, thousand? That's correct. Wow. That was a guess. An ologist who specifically studies birds. Oh. Um. Hey, I pressed the button. Correct. I knew that one because of Player Two. Which category? Would James you like? Bond. In tatting, you use a small shuff shuttle to form the rings and semicircle of this fabric. Yes. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Player three, please select a category. The Manu in manuscript literally means it was written this way. Sadly, that's not it. Um, by hand. You are right. Player one, which category would you like? Game shows. It's the show on which host Wayne Brady might offer you one thousand dollars or a curtain. Um, let's make a deal. That's right. Okay. The show that began as the $10,000 pyramid with Dick Clark came back in 2016 with Michael's, whatever that says. No, it's not. <sighs> um. Wrong. Okay. See, I thought they already did the $100,000 pyramid. Player two, pick a category. Of the U.S. states and the Pacific, it's second to Alaska in pounds of fish caught. Well done. Okay. Player three, it's your turn to choose a category. Alphabetically, it's the next state after Alaska. Ugh. Exactly. I should have known that one, but I couldn't think of the next state. Two. Pick a category. After Alaska, it's the next largest U.S. state by area. Um, I'm gonna guess Texas. And it sure the heck ain't Utah. Player one, which category would you like? Alaska has the longest coastline of any U.S. state, and this state comes in second. California. Oh, um, Florida. That's correct. I was going to say California. Ron James is an executive producer on this series where a green ball can be worth as much as one million dollars. Um. Yes, correct. Okay. Player two. It's Never your seen turn that. To choose a category. 
Alaska is home to the 16 tallest mountains in the U.S. This state has 17. Number 17. Well done. Okay. He went from late, late to early, early, winning daytime Emmys for celebrity name game. That's not it. Celebrity name game. Uh, that sounds like a Jimmy Kimmel thing. Sadly, that's not it. Oh wait, I screwed up. Yes, correct. Oh. Here's See, I don't know who that is. On this cable channel, contestants reach out and touch an answer on idiot test. Um, incorrect. Oh, yeah, that should have made sense. So I didn't know that was an Everyone option. Made it to Final Jeopardy. <coughs> How much do you want to wager? Oh, that depends. Before an 1867 sale, this island group was known as the Catherine Archipelago. Exactly. Oh, I got the wrong answer. That's not what we were going for. No, sorry. So it's the Aleutian Islands. Here are the final placements. I win. Our champion today is... Okay. So we're going to leave it here. I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. You are definitely enough. And I'll see you in the next video. Hi. So I don't just make videos of the video games I play. I also write books. Um, this is the Rolling Sea Trader Book 1, Esperanza's Party, and the Rolling Sea Trader Book 2, The Island. <laughs> I'm so horrible at reading out loud. Oh my gosh. Um, so, in Esperanza's Party, the captain's daughter decides that she wants to date the first mate's son her uh, his oldest son because he's got twin boys um she wants to date sean so esperanza's party is how they got together and then rolling sea book two here um the island is they're going home in the ship to, you know, go back for school and they hit a sandbar. Well, they find out that the sandbar is attached to an island. And this is a pretty big island. It takes like four hours to get across it. Three hours, something like that. Anyway, it's a big island. Um, and please check them out on Amazon.com. Uh, apparently they're available for Prime. Um, 
They're available on Kindle and paperback. We're still working on getting a good picture so we can get it done in hardback. Um, and please buy my books. <laughs> there, there are six books in all that are available. And have a great day.